And the one plane swing is Jim Hardy's uh, concept of bending more from the hips. And the arms feel like alligator arms. They do this. They come to the sides. And what a one plane swing is, is when your left arm matches your shoulders. You don't move off the golf ball. You stay more centered. Um, and from the extreme hip tilt, that's how you get your angle to the ground. One planers find things disastrous when they move off the ball because now their shoulders are too level. And this sets them up for a lateral hip bump. Now their shoulders are in this tilt here. And as they try to turn, they're actually making some side kind of tennis looking topspin motions. So really, again, a key for a a one-plane golf swing is really to feel like you're coming over the top. Now, I'd never say that to a two-plane swing where their arms are up here. They need a lateral hip bump. They have seven different things to do in the downswing, whereas the uh, one-planer only has two things to do. The two things are that the right arm stays next to the side. I see a lot of one-planers, they come through and their right elbow is right here. With push power. So the feeling is that my hand comes down next to my side and the whole body's turning, so that's number two. So this is my attempt at a one-plane swing. I'm gonna try bending a little bit more from the hips for this. Take the, the arms inside, hand path inside, like a stack and tilter or a right, plane, right side swing. And uh, I'm gonna try to do the same thing on this side of the swing. Here it goes.